video, I'm going to show you how to change the galleries. So if we go ahead and preview site, and we scroll down, you'll see that the view galleries will be the link to open the galleries area. And then they would select weddings, engagements, anniversaries, whatever you would like these to be. And then when they hit the X, it closes it. So go ahead and close and go back to the window. So now when we're looking, let me just look at the desktop view. You'll see that that canvas is actually showing in the design on the show it platform. So if we click the canvas, you go to your canvas tab on the right and you'll see it's hidden to start. So even though you can see it when you actually view your site, no one will be able to see it until they click that view galleries. So to change the images, we take a look at the elements within the galleries canvas. You'll see some items are outside the different views. So the views are what changes. So the only thing within these views are the actual galleries. Everything else will stay the same. So then you would go ahead and add a little paragraph if you would like. You can change these to just maybe three different featured weddings if you want them all. Um, if you want weddings and engagements and anniversaries separate, um, if you shoot seniors um, or maternity, um, you can change these to whatever you'd like. And you would just have to switch out the name. And then so weddings is linked to view one, engagements is linked to view two, and anniversary is linked to view three. So let's say you changed anniversary to seniors, you would want to change the third view to your senior images. So then if you go ahead and you click that gallery, you can click on the left hand panel and actually click the name gallery, or you can just go ahead and click the photo, go to your gallery images, manage images. You can um, hold down shift and click the bottom where it'll select all of them and hit delete. And then you can go ahead and add what images you would like. And you can drag these and you change the order if you didn't like the order that you added them in. And then you click save, and now that gallery has changed. So now if we click preview, and if we go down, we get galleries, and then click seniors, you'll see it's that new images for that gallery. And then if you wanted to add a gallery, you can just duplicate and then rename to V4. And then you can go ahead and then just copy the text, click paste. And then for some reason it always, um, within show it, it always pastes within, within the view that you're on. So you would just wanna move that out of the view and then go ahead and bring that down. Maybe you want to do workshops. So then what you'd want to do with that new one selected, go to your right hand panel, click click actions, and you want to change this view to view four. So now that would be linked to this fourth gallery. So remember anything you do on desktop, you have to do on mobile. So for mobile, you might need to extend the canvas a little bit. So these little arrows is what you can use to extend the canvas. And then I would click and just drag a box and just bring everything down. Click that white box and bring that down. And then you can select workshops. And then bring that down. So that's how you would add more galleries.